up road dogs and viewers and subscribers nomadic zig here if you read the description of this live stream you will see that i actually need some help um and this is some unique help if you look at the top there's my links and you can see what i'm asking for i have to make the deposit for oh shit Sorry, I'm rolling these up because that's all I got. But I have to make the deposit for a golf cart taxi. And the event I'm working is to be a golf cart taxi at Country Thunder here in the Phoenix area. And as it turns out, there is a $300 deposit to get the golf cart. And um, if I don't get that together, I'm not going to be able to work this event, unfortunately. I, I wasn't aware that it was going to be a thing until today, and it is a thing, so am I first? Ken, you are first. Welcome to the live stream, bud. I don't know if you read the description or the title of the live stream, but I am uh, I'm in, some, I'm in some need for some help, and if anyone's out there that can help me out, I have to come up with a $300 deposit for a golf cart. Um, because I'm doing golf cart taxi at Country Thunder. And as it turns out, there's a $300 deposit that I need to get the golf cart. I get that back when the event is over and I turn in the golf cart. Um, so if anyone wants to throw me $300, <laughs> I know that's a huge ask. I would be happy to pay you back once I turn in the golf cart. Maybe even before that if I make enough money. Um, but I assume most of the money is going to be cash, and I won't be able to just send it. So it might have to wait until after I'm done with the event. But in any case, if I don't get the money together for the deposit, I'm not going to be able to work this event. And uh, that money I was going to use towards fixing the van, the new van that I got, because it needs a little bit of work. Um, so I figured I'd start a live stream, ask for some help. We can still bullshit as we always do, but that's really the goal of this live stream right here. Um, it's just so I can fucking keep getting back on my feet, because right now I'm starting to, um, and this is kind of a setback that I wasn't expecting. But welcome, Ken. What's up, William? Glad you're okay. How you doing, man? I am okay. I'm hanging in there. When do you need the money by? I need it by tomorrow. Um, I'm picking up the, uh, I'm picking up the golf cart tomorrow. Right now, we're in Arizona. William's asking is, I'm in Florence. That's where Country Thunder is. I'm camping not too far away right now. I just drove two hours down here and uh, might have been a waste if I can't get this money together. Like I said, I didn't know it was going to be a thing until today. Um, and it's a thing. Let me fix my tripod here. Is that better? Yeah. Dude, I got these wings in my hair. I got to tuck under my hat. I don't know what to do with my hair anymore. I really don't. Either I grow it long and I get this goofy mullet. <laughs> or I cut it short and everyone sees how bald I'm getting. Fun stuff. Don't forget to smash that like button, you guys. While we hang out and burn. Let me see if I can... Let me see if I can fix this part of it real quick. Oh, uh, no. It's just going to be aiming up. Whatever. Maybe I could erase it. <laughs> there we go. There we go. When I'm finished with this, I'll show you guys my camp spot. Um, it's pretty nice out here, actually. Real open. No other campers. Well, I guess there's one other camper over there. <laughs> but I moved spots over here by Country Thunder, and uh, um, it's a pretty peaceful spot, not too far away from a river and shit. Been a bit of a been a bit of a hectic morning for me finding all this out. Like I said, I didn't know it was gonna be a thing, and it is. But I have till tomorrow, so hopefully I can. Uh, get the money together um 
like I said yesterday, I, I spent basically all my money on the van and a tank of gas. Um, I got the food together I needed for this event, which it's all packed around me. My van is such a mess right now. It's not, there's no organization to it because there's no build. It's just a mattress on the ground with my stuff kind of around it. But I got all my stuff in here. I got my solar panel and my diesel heater. Um, it's nice to have, it's nice to have walls around me again. Not have to sleep on the ground in the cold rain. So even if I don't get this golf cart taxi deposit money together, I am still grateful that I've got a vehicle again. It'll just take me a long time to get it all fixed. I don't know. Um, I, I don't know how I would, <laughs> I'm going to be able to afford fixing it. But nevertheless, here I am, living the dream. Zag's right here, everyone. Come here, pup. If you guys want to see her, she's doing absolutely wonderful, being my little rock. Huh, good girl. Huh. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. And I'll probably be live streaming here today for a little while. Um, I got nothing else going on. Do you know what you need to get fixed? What is it? Yeah, I need uh, the brakes need to be looked at, um, which I can do myself, but I don't have the tools. I don't even have a jack or anything. And then there is a there's something going on with the fuel system. I'm not exactly sure what it is, but when I drive it and I stop, it smells like gasoline. So I think it's the um, fuel pressure regulator that's in there. Could also be a filter or pump or something. I don't know. Something with the gas line needs to be looked at. Um, so yeah, brakes, gas line, and then my suspension needs to be looked at as well. I'm pretty sure I need new bushings. Pretty sure I need new bushings. Also, the video of me uh, buying the van will be going live today. Um, for my road dogs, who are monthly subscribers, um, you'll get early access to it. You'll be able to see it, you know, 24 hours before everyone else. And then I have another video from the last festival I worked that's going to be going live today for everyone. It got posted yesterday, and then today it'll go live for anyone to see. Possibly a broken EVAP line, but that would turn check engine light on. Yeah, dude, I got no check engine light. Nothing. Um, no check engine light. It drives. It shifts just fine. Um... It even gets up and goes when I trump on the gas. I don't know what's normal, though. I don't know what's, uh, like, a normal acceleration for this thing, but it, it, it goes highway speeds just fine. Um, it just has a gas smell. Does the check engine light work? I, I need to take, honestly, that was a question I had, so I wanted to take it to have it plugged in anyways, which I'll probably end up doing today, to be honest with you. Um, especially if I don't get a key on... Check would confirm that. Oh, yeah, you're right. All my accessories. I think I have seen it. I'm going to check right now, actually, that you mentioned it. While well, you guys look at my butt. Let's see. Dude, yeah. Yeah, the check engine light works. It does. It comes on when I turn on the accessories and the whole dash lights up. That was a good call, man. Yeah, the check engine light works. Spark, sparking across America. I love you, bro. Oh, thanks, dude. I appreciate that very much. It's been a rough morning. I definitely could use those words of affirmation right now. Dude, under the power steering, you will see a small derby hat looking part called a fuel pressure test port. Under the power steering. Like the reservoir? Power steering reservoir? I was looking it up on this van. And it seemed like the most common reason for this to happen is, um, is the fuel pressure regulator. Um, but again, like that's the most common. It doesn't mean that's what's happening on this one. But it, I, like I said, it drives all right. Shifts okay. Not having any issues. I burned up a half a tank of gas without any problems. At first, I was thinking I was leaking some gas, and it turns out I wasn't because there was no, uh, there was no like puddle or anything underneath the van <coughs> I think Zag likes all the windows in it 
she can always just look out the window. She's always liked looking out windows. Yeah, when I finish this, I'll go out there and check out that spot, Shanky. Oh, there's a train going by. I was wondering what that noise was. I'm also right by a river. But I think it's dried up. I don't think there's anything in it, so maybe it's just a wash. But it did literally say it was a river. Here, I'll show you this train going by right now. You see that? I think it's like part of an Amtrak in the front, or maybe those are just new colored, new colored engines. It's slow and loud though. Does it hard start? No, it doesn't hard start. Okay, so that if no leaks, I'd suspect an EVAP purge valve or a bad gas cap not holding pressure. Gas cap was something that was popping up on the thing too, as far as like why you might smell gas. Gas cap. I'm, I'm, I'll check that out. Gas cap would set off the, the check engine light though, wouldn't it? In any case, uh, does it start hard? So it starts without an issue, but not on the first go. For whatever reason, you could like hold it there on the first start time starting it, and it won't fucking start. Every single time on the second one, it starts. So if I go, blah, 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 and it fires right up, always on the second one. Um, if it's been running for a little bit, it'll start on the first one. Um, but if it's been sitting all night, when I when I go to fire it up, it doesn't start on the first go. It start, always starts on the second go. And the guy told me that when I bought it. He's like, that's just a quirk. I took it to the dealership and they didn't know. But I don't know if he took it to the dealership or not. You doubt it's a fuel pressure regulator. An EVAP gross leak check engine light. Yeah, I don't have any check engine lights. And I've actually driven it 200 miles. No black smoke on startup. Nothing like that. Um, yeah. Make sure your tag license insurance is okay. Cops are bad there. Yeah, I was gonna... Honestly, I was gonna go work this event. And... Um, an injector was the other thing, Dave, that, that I read about that would, the other possibility. Um, yeah, I was going to work this event, William, and, uh, and get all that squared away. Well, I was going to get the insurance and stuff squared away and then drive to Oregon and get the, t the, the tags squared away. Cause I have license plates for it, permanent plates from Oregon cause I'm a disabled vet, but, um, <laughs> but I don't know if I'm going to be able to work this event now because apparently I need a $300, deposit um to get the to get the uh golf cart that i need or that i was going to use for golf cart taxiing so i'm not sure i'm going to have the ability to even leave phoenix to be honest with you run a bottle of lucas oil top end lube in the gas tank with premium fuel is that like what does that do is it seal the injector top end lube or maybe like break loose anything that might be clogged in there. I could try that. Can you go potty? Can you go potty? You want to go sniffs? You want to go sniffs? We'll clean the injectors and valves. Dude, I'll do that. I will do that. Um, yeah, I need... I was really just going to take it to a mechanic. And let them, because you know I'm not, you know I'm not a mechanic. But maybe I could make it to slabs and you and I could, you could teach me some shit, Dave. Where'd she go? There she is. There's my good girl. I wish you were closer too, dude. A uh, dodge is your. Well, good. I need someone whose Dodge is their jam and not their jelly. 
Hey, Zach, come here. There you go. Why do you always look so ashamed when you potty? Leaving May 1st-ish payday. Headed to Reno. Fuck yeah, dude. Reno's cool. I might head that way if I can get the van running to top shape. Definitely the brakes need to be looked at. <coughs> um, here, I'll show you the inside of the motor. I'll pop the hood. And we can all look together. Because I'm no mechanic. I wish you were closer too, Dave. <laughs> Say, come here. Hey, load up. Lay down. Good girl. Yeah, brakes are easy. I can do the brakes. I even have the brake pads. They came with the van. Um, it, and he said he had done two of them, but he needs to do the other two. But again, I don't have any tools. I don't even have a, uh, a jack right now. I got jack shit. I got jack and I got shit. I don't even, I, <laughs> I'm straight struggle bus and I don't think I'll be able to do country thunder, you guys. And, and, uh, that was, I was kind of banking on that to get this van fixed. So such is life, I guess universe throws us curveballs all right all right all right all right all right all right let's take a look shanky said underneath the power steering which is here and to the right is he talking about this or is he talking about this this is See, but I don't see any leaky fuel. I don't smell it. I don't smell any leaky fuel either. Let me go to the back and see if I smell any back here. I don't smell any fuel right now. That's interesting. The black, the black lid. To the left. See, I don't know if you're... Yeah, this is power steering right here. You talking about that? Isn't that the brake line? Yeah, that's the brake reservoir. It's a master cylinder. I definitely don't smell any gas. Um, and I don't see anything leaking either. Underneath this to the right. So this right here. Isn't that the fucking... Um, Yeah, yeah, that's what I was reading, Dave, was that it could be the exhaust system, or I mean, I'm sorry, the valves that are going, sending the excess gas to the exhaust. Other side, so this side, this way, this is my left, and this is my right, left, right. I don't know if it's backwards for y'all.
Oh, yeah, 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 my injectors, for sure. Yeah, no, I get it. I know where those are. Um, I don't know how to test it, though. Like I said, I'm not a mechanic. The, the What I've accomplished... Okay, the fuel test port is right underneath the reservoir in the with the black lid to the left. Why am I not seeing underneath a black lid? Underneath the reservoir. Okay, I could do that. Like, nothing does, it doesn't smell like gas. Not right there, it doesn't. Green lid, I'm colorblind, dude, I can't see green. Is this green? Is that what, is that what you guys are talking about? I, I can't see blue and green. Fun fact. Fun fact. <laughs> well, I don't smell gas back there, I'll be completely honest with you. Um, but, let's see if I can smell it at the gas. I don't smell it there either, so if maybe if I smell it from the exhaust, that's how you know that it's a valve. All right. Oh, I don't smell it there either. I don't even smell gas right now. Maybe it's just too breezy. Maybe it's just too windy to smell it. I'm not sure. Maybe it is the uh, valves. If you don't see a leak, it's not external. Yeah, I haven't seen a leak. And I've been paying attention that, that where I've been parking it. There's no drips or anything like that. Not even oil or whatever. But so I don't think there's a leak. But uh, maybe you're right. Maybe it is the lift or the uh, injectors, the valves. Plastic fuel pump housing is cracked. That is also something I have heard is common with with this van. Is that there's like this plastic housing next to the fuel pump that. Um, that cracks and leaks gasoline, but I, I haven't lost gasoline. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I don't know if it only happens when I'm driving or whatever. Um, but my, my fuel tank has been the same. Like I haven't lost any from sitting overnight or whatever. Any type of crack or leak in the fuel system will hundred percent turn a light on. Yeah. I don't have, a, I don't have a check engine light. Fuel pump is on the, is on the tank, yeah, I know. I, I've heard it's in the tank, so they'd have to drop the fuel tank. I've, I've been reading up a little bit about it. No way am I an expert, but... 17 of you in here, 7 likes. That's okay. You guys don't have to like me. But if you do, smash the like button. Well, maybe, Dave, maybe we could meet up in Vegas or somewhere along your route and you could take a look at it. Um, if I don't end up working Country Thunder, then I'm going to be headed that way. Um, right now, I just need to come up with 300 bucks so I can work Country Thunder and maybe I can just take it um, to a mechanic and get it fixed and squared away. Otherwise, I mean... I'm kind of, I'm kind of screwed, <laughs> to be honest with you, at least until payday, which is on the 1st. What is today? The 10th, right? No, not even the 10th. It's the 8th. That sucks. I spent all my money on the van and 
kind of screwed myself for Country Thunder. You were going to take 395. I got you. It's all good. Are you going to be at Reno all, all summer long? Because if I get the van fixed, I'll be headed up that way. <clears throat> I'll probably drive through Reno on my way up back up to Oregon to get Vanagon taken care of. You guys want to see some pretty shit? Let me show you some pretty shit. Oh, where are they going, dude? I know where you're headed then. I've been to their place before. They're they're fucking awesome. Their house is really dope. You're gonna like it. Oh fuck yeah, that's cool. Headed to Amsterdam. The dam of the Amster. You guys are going to have to put up with me for a while. I got nothing else to do but live stream today. Oh, they moved? I did not know that. I didn't know that. I would imagine that their new house is still fucking dope. Their last house was cool as shit. And then not because of it was a house. Yeah, I didn't know them when they were in the Bay Area. They were in Sacramento. Well, south of it anyways. In fact, they hosted me when I was hunting for spider. I got to stay at their house for a night. For one night. Just to like, a little bit of respite. Uh, um, from hunting for them. But I crashed at their place. Yeah. Yep. Oh, you're good, dude. You're good. I know they were used to be in the Bay Area. Once upon a time, but... I don't think I knew them when they were there. Um, yeah, and the brakes on this I could do myself. I haven't done disc brakes too much. Um, honestly, I've got way more experience with drum brakes because I just re I rebuilt the front end of this Volkswagen Beetle that I had. And it's all drum brakes all the way around. And I just learned them. Um, I haven't fucked with disc brakes by myself, but I've definitely messed with them with friends, you know, and, like, people helping me out. And I think I could do it on my own, but I don't even have a screwdriver you know i've got a i got a gerber somewhere but i can't even jack up the van right now i don't have a i don't have a tire iron um thankfully they're brand new tires i shouldn't have to worry about tire and iron too much but did anyone catch the eclipse today here in Arizona, I didn't really notice. It didn't really get dark. I couldn't stare directly at the sun. I tried to film it a little bit, but my, my camera didn't really catch it either. But did anyone else get a chance to look at the eclipse and check it out? I remember seeing the one up in Oregon some years ago. And that was really cool. I was right in the path of totality. Man, I'm really stressed out about Country Thunder, to be honest with you. How do you live stream? I thought you have to have a lot of subs. So in order to live stream on YouTube, I think you only need like 500 subscribers or something like that. Um, 
to get monetized, you have to have a thousand subscribers and then you have to have 4,000 hours of watch time, which they may have reduced that in the last year. I'm not 100%, but when I got monetized, you had to have 4,000 hours of watch time and a thousand subscribers. Um, but I was able to go live before that. There is also third party apps that you can download. Um, Streamlabs is, is an example of that where you can bypass their requirements and just live stream through Streamlabs and it posts it onto YouTube for you. As a live stream, it's live. Which is what most people do before they get the chance to, to live stream. Is they'll just use Streamlabs because it bypass. it's a third party app that bypasses it. Ken says, I seen it, I got pics and videos, it was awesome. Hell yeah, dude. Where are you at that you saw it? Are you in the path of totality? Are you working on a on a YouTube, William? Do you uh are you trying to get like to be able to do live streams and stuff? Ken says there was a UFO that was flying around the sun. I'm in Wisconsin. A UFO? I have a theory about UFOs. Like, the reality is either UFOs are us, human beings, creating advanced aircraft and hiding it from everyone. Or aliens, which I don't know why they'd be secretive. Why wouldn't they just make themselves known and be completely ambiguous? I don't know. I don't pretend to know how aliens think. I just don't. Uh, that doesn't make very much sense to me. Um, or three, maybe time travel. Maybe time travel, like time travel tourism, where you get to go on a ship and go see uh, the Earth in the past when people were, like, mean to each other. Um, yeah, I, I feel like there's aliens, though. Like, there's a lot of space out there, you guys. And and the, the, the fabric of space is getting farther and stretching and stretching. The, they, 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 if there are aliens and they are visiting us and they came from other stars, then, uh, they have learned how to travel faster than light. <clears throat> William says, not yet. I, I want to be a first, um, a first amendment auditor. That's what you're talking about. Yeah, that would actually be a lot of fun. I, I actually get caught up in those videos quite a bit. The first amendment auditing. Some of them I can appreciate how they do it. Others are just trolling and trying to get, you know, a lawsuit going. Um, I smell gas now. The wind just gave me a whiff of gasoline. I don't know, dude. I'm going to have to get this figured out. I don't know where it's coming from. I've been sniffing around this van for a while. And I can't figure it out. And now the smell's gone. It just got like a, a whiff of it went by. <clears throat> but yeah, those First Amendment auditors, dude, I get caught up in those videos also. I call it bad cop porn. Like, I'll get caught up watching bad cop porn for hours. Like, just watching these blatant cops violate our civil rights. And, uh, yeah, shit fires me up. There are no accounts of creation in the Bible. It does talk about beings from a different dimension. Yeah, I mean, I, the Bible is, I think it's the best used as a historical document for what different nations did back in the day, but I don't think we're going to get answers of, of, like, higher level answers from it, really. I really don't. And I, I understand that might, like, irk some people. I'm very sorry. I'm not trying to irk anybody. Everyone's very, very welcome to their beliefs. I will defend your right to be religious and have the religion you want. Um, and I will defend it with my life. And I, I've, I've signed that contract. It, it's part of our Constitution. You are free to express yourself. And I support it. Um, I personally don't think we're getting answers out of the Bible that are going to, like, the big questions. Why are we here? Um... But I do think that you can find out what different nations were doing. Um, you know, I think it's one of our oldest historical documents that we have. 
But I also think that those people without the scientific method were explaining things they didn't understand. Why does the ground shake? What is lightning? I feel like um, those those myths and deities that we've, we've, we've created thousands and thousands of deities over the course of human history. And uh, each one is just trying to explain things that we don't quite yet understand. And science is trying to do the same thing. None of them have figured it out. None of us really know what we're doing here. And we all go through like these existential crises about it. Um, I wish I had the faith that a lot of religious people had because it's probably very comforting to not have those existential crises that, that I might have because I don't know. Um, but if there's anything that I've come to understand about my belief system is that I'm not, I'm not religious and I'm not atheist. I'm an I don't knowist. Maybe agnostic. I'm an I don't know. I don't know. And I'm comfortable with not knowing most of the time. Most of the time I'm comfortable with that. There are some things that just seem, I guess, obvious, maybe? Or, like, I don't know. Science is, um, there's a lot of crazy theories going on in science that have some, some evidence, like, super superficial evidence to support it, like, different dimensions and stuff like that. That is something science kind of embraces <coughs> as possible, which I kind of like. I kind of like the fact that maybe it is infinite and maybe there are different dimensions. Um, personally, I like to believe that we are inside of a black hole and all the black holes that are out there are little universes also. And once that maybe, maybe they need to get to a certain size before they become a universe of their own. But Black holes, we know that they grow bigger and bigger and bigger as they suck in more mass. And we also know that our universe is expanding and will never reach the edge of it. Um, I, I feel like, I don't know. All good people go to heaven, no worries. <laughs> Dave says the answer is 42. My towel! Fuck yeah, dude. I know exactly what you're talking about. Um... Well, I mean, if all good people go to he heaven, I sure hope that I'm counted amongst them. But if I'm being completely honest, I'm not always sure I'm a good person. Um, I have done really bad things in my life. And, and you know, if there is if there is a God and i got to face judgment for some of the things that I've done, then maybe uh, that won't go so well. We'll see. You know, you can't always use the excuse I was just following orders, but... You know, it be what it be. But hopefully, I'm counted among those good folks that that go to heaven, if there if there really is a heaven. I like the idea of. I like the idea of like, there's, an infinite versions of Zig, and you just keep reliving each version of yourself, um, forever. That's I like that. Maybe I I think that that brings me some comfort because, you know, maybe the next go around will be be a little bit more peaceful. You don't need a book or a god to have morals. My conscience keeps me pretty straight and narrow. Yeah, I I agree with that. You don't need a a, a deity or a book to tell you how to be a good person. I think we all inherently, for the most part, know what's right and what's wrong, what's good and bad. I think it's just something that we inherently understand and we learn at a young age. Um, it's There's some things that are just never okay. And there is no gray area about it. So, my moral compass, and anyone who's met me, I think they, they can attest to this. My moral compass is just like, I don't like bullies. And that's, that's my entire moral compass, I think. I just don't like bullies. And, uh... I feel like that's a pretty reasonable thing to build your moral compass around. Um, some people do it differently. Some people really like money or whatever. Like, they want to build a family. Um, I've tried all those things. And my moral compass supports those things. It's just, I, I, uh, it's not for me, I think. I don't think that's the reality that I get this go around. The desert's about to get real hot, ladies and gentlemen. It's 
about to get real hot out here in the desert. Oh, Zag, you thirsty? Or are you hungry? You want your food? There you go. I'm going to get you some water. I got you, good girl. I got you. Yeah, I appreciate what you're saying, man. I tend to keep my... I try to keep politics and religion out of my live stream because it's very divisive and I know it shouldn't be, but we do, we are, we are living in a world where none of us actually ever learned how to have difficult conversations appropriately. And so I just tend to keep those out of my, my, uh, my channel because it's divisive and we're not here to be divided. You know, we're here to, um, I guess embrace all of our differences. So, um, like my political views probably differ from 99% of you and that's okay. That's a hundred percent. Okay. I don't think the red or the blue, the left or the right, the D or the R, I don't think any of them care about us. And, it, and it's just exhausting to watch everyone fight about which one's the lesser evil when they're both evil. Um, but that's just my opinion. That's just my perspective, and we all have ours, you know. <clears throat> I think that, like I said, we, we have grown up to, like, not talk about these things publicly, and it's it's left us without practice. Um, <clears throat> it's left us without practice of having difficult conversations, you know. Spreading the word is our command. Given by Jesus, not a request. Yeah, I mean, that's fine. You do what you need to do. I'm just saying that's not my channel. Me, me and Zig, Dave says, me and Zig have had conversations that would cause fights between people. That's why I think we get along so well. We respect each other's opinions and knowledge. Yeah, dude, we've definitely disagreed on shit before. And we've done it respectfully. Um, yeah, like, I, I, I tend to try not to... Not I like I, everyone's everyone's so opinion and beliefs and faith and everything is so valid. It's so valid, and we live in a country um, that is is we we used to embrace these differences that used to be us being a melting pot of different cultures and religions and races used to be our strength, and somehow we've lost that. Somehow those things aren't our strength anymore. And I don't know what happened. Maybe it never was our strength. I don't know. But we are the most richest, most powerful country in human history. Um, and, and we're struggling right now with the thing that's supposed to be the best part about us. Is embracing each other's cultures and and being being okay with being free near each other. And that's what I, I hope we get back one day, you know. What's up, Mark? Mark Light? <laughs> Is there a, a Mark Heavy somewhere? Are you uh, Mark Jr. and your dad's a senior, so you're Mark Light? <laughs> Hello from tomorrow. How you doing? It's tomorrow already over there, eh? Because you're over there on the uh, in Australia, aren't you? Good to see you, Annie. I'll be live streaming for a while. For those of you just joining, um, as you saw in my description, we've kind of gotten away from it, but tomorrow I am supposed to be, oh, you're the free version. <laughs> That's classic. <laughs> um, tomorrow I'm supposed to be working and picking up my golf cart because I'm going to be doing golf cart taxi country thunder, which is a country festival here in, in the Phoenix area. Um, turns out I need a $300 deposit in order to get the golf cart. I am more than willing to return the money to you guys, even if everyone threw in five bucks and I just, after I got my money back, sent you the money back, the five dollars, I will absolutely do that. Um, this is, I was hoping to earn the money I needed at Country Thunder to not only get my van fixed, but also just to survive the rest of the month. Because as you guys know, I spent all my money on the van and it's the eighth. Um, so that's why I'm here. 
just hoping, just asking. But if you guys can't do it, that's okay too. I know it's uh, dude, everyone. I feel like everyone's struggling right now. All my friends seem to be struggling a little bit, and I don't know. It's just it's going around. I think it just hits us poor folk first, you know. I also know the Ponderosa is trying to get up money to get a couple of swamp coolers so they can keep everyone cool. Like it just it's hitting all of us at the same time. But I came up a little bit. I got me a vehicle. If I can't get to Country Thunder and I can't do this golf cart gig because I need a deposit, that's fine. I'll just, it'll just take me longer to get the van ready for the road. Um, because I can't, I don't want to drive this thing to Oregon in the condition that it's in. It drives great. Don't get me wrong. I just don't know if it's ready for a, you know, 2,000 mile trip over mountain passes and whatnot before, you know, it just breaks or definitely need, need to get got. And then this fuel issue I'm, I'm having. Mark light is the free version. You're at San Pit and Havasu. Stop by for supplies to Vegas. No problem. What kind of supplies, man? You got, do you got a jack and some tools and we could just knock out my brakes together? I don't know if you know how to do brakes, but I would definitely meet up with you. And if, if you could help me out with my brakes on my way to Vegas, I'm pretty sure I can make it to Lake Havasu. And like I said, I've got the parts. And I got a good friend of mine that lives in Lake Havasu, an old army buddy of mine. We served together. We went to high school together for a schmigget of a time. And then we were in the same unit together when I was in the National Guard. So um, it'd be cool to go see him again. If he, uh, if he's around and you're going to hang out, I know he's got some skis, so maybe we can go jet skiing. Not sure where the sand pit is, though, to be honest with you. Um, is it? I know where, like, Craggy Wash is. I think it's called Craggy Wash. Canadian, we have e-transfer. Sorry, man. Oh, no worries, man. Look, you guys, I understand there's most of you aren't going to be able to donate i understand most of you aren't here to just give strangers on youtube your money i get that it's okay you know there there's yeah i mean it, it's absolutely fine if you can't or for whatever reason like you don't have to you don't have to apologize for that you haven't done anything wrong um i'm, I'm very happy to have everyone here who donates who doesn't donate who just wants to come in and have a conversation with me you guys are always always welcome absolutely that'll never change but <clears throat> right now i am a little <laughs> i am a little stressed out about this event i didn't know like i said i didn't know this was going to be a thing until today and it turns out it's a thing so if i don't come up with this 300 bucks for this deposit on the golf cart then um, this is just going to be a, a tough month on me. I'm not even sure what e-transfer is. Do they have like a, does Canada, do they do like some government transfer situation? I'm not sure. Oh, okay. Yep. Plus two miles south of town. So we could do the breaks together. All right, dude, I might take you up on that. I'm not joking. Uh, William, you ought to send me, do you, I don't know if you've, if you click the link tree at the top of the comments, it's pinned to the top right now, um, it'll bring up all my social media, including my email address. If you want to hit me up, um, you know, you could do it through Instagram, you could do it through Facebook, you can send me an email, we could chat and, uh, and figure out how to make that work. I'm not sure when I'll be headed that way. Either I'm going to be working this event for the next week or I'm going to take off tomorrow because I didn't get the money together and try to figure it out for the rest of the month.
Yeah, you can send money via internet from your account by text or email. Oh, we have that too. Um, it's not through the government though, but we have uh, Zelle. That's what we have. And it's through your bank, and you can just give people your phone number or your email address, and it transfers money. But I also have Cash App, Venmo, PayPal, um, which seem to be the most popular ways of, of sending money to people. Oh. Let me find my pipe. Never even finished this bowl at the beginning of the live stream. Wow. Man, even if I don't do this event, which I really hope I do, I could really use the money, but even if I don't, I am still stoked that I have a van. I've definitely came up a little bit this winter. It was a long rough road but uh but i but i did it you guys I, I got a vehicle again believe me said i was taos but you missed lunch what i'm confused did you hit me up when i was in taos I still got my property out in Taos. In fact, I'm considering selling it, to be honest with you. Um, I've 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 been I've been paying for it. I'm I'm paying monthly for my my land. And it's only 75 bucks a month. It ain't shit. But I've been considering just selling it as soon as I get the deed. Because the elevation there is kind of rough on my on my ticker. Dave says, chat at you later. Hit me up if you need to bounce car shit off me. Thanks, dude. I will. I'll hit you up um, if I need to bounce car shit off of you. I've, I do have another question, so I'll, I'll send you a message, dude. I sure will. It's It's such a beautiful day today out here. Um, and in the next couple of days, it's supposed to be 90 fucking six degrees. Did I see the eclipse? No, I did not get to see the eclipse, dude. I'm not in the path of totality. And what I, I mean, it got a little dark here for a minute. Um... It, it, yeah, it got a little dark here, but not really, not that dark. I'm just in Arizona on the west where the east is where the path of totality was. Um, but I did see it up in Oregon. In fact, the path of totality cut right through my hometown, so I was up there for that. Um, but I, I didn't have any eclipse glasses. I wasn't really prepared for it. It wasn't really a thing here, you know what I'm saying? So... But I'm, I hope everyone else got a chance to see it. It's pretty cool, man, the eclipse. Like you can look out there at the eclipse and just, like, feel connected to all these celestial bodies. It's pretty cool. Went by there. Caveman was there. Where is he? Caveman, he's still there. He's still up in the Taos area. He's, he's still up at his property. I don't know if he'll ever start a YouTube. I'm not really sure. I hope he does. He'd make a good channel. Oh, I should probably plug in my phone, dude. I bet you my battery's dying. Let's see, where am I at? Ah, oh, it's not so bad. 40%. Boom. Ah, oh, what a day. 
It's been a rough run winter, you guys, to be honest with you. I've, uh... Really looking forward to a change. I really am. Change of scenery. And to go on an adventure. The Southwest has been, been alright to me. Like I said, I came up this, this winter, but... It was a rough one. I'm not gonna lie. Thankfully, everything out here is in bloom. Like, it's a really pretty time to be out in the desert. There's a lot of grass everywhere and flowers. The weather's perfect. Not to get personal, but it seems you and cavemen might have fallen out. We just haven't seen each other in a long time. Um, it's like that with nomads. It's like that. Uh, sometimes you you go years without seeing each other. He doesn't really have a phone for consistent contact or anything. So, like, it's it's hard, honestly hard to just keep up with people when you have this lifestyle. But I am, um, I have, you know, Caveman's a great, great dude. I got, we, I mean, yeah, I got nothing bad to say about the guy. He's an amazing person. Uh, well, well, probably one of the best people I know. I wish I was, sometimes I wish I was a bit more like him. In, in some aspects of my life. So, yeah, take that for what you will. I just, we, it's hard to keep up with each other when, when you have this lifestyle. Some, a lot of my friends don't have the money. Um, like, I have a measly check I get every month that keeps my phone on that um, I can use to feed myself and whatnot. And Caveman ha manages to survive off of significantly less. So, yeah. Is he the guy that got the pickup? Yeah, yeah, he's the guy. He he's the guy that got the pickup. That's him. Now he's got a sweet truck. He's got a new piece of land, and uh, yeah, there's no hard feelings there. It says that there's a river right down here. And I don't know where it is. I drove down there, and it, there was nothing down there. There was no river or anything. Maybe like a little wash that was dried up, but maybe I didn't. Maybe I missed it. Maybe I uh, didn't go far enough. But it says that there's a river right down there. <clears throat> I'd like to go check it out because Zag, uh, Zag could probably use a swim whether she likes it or not. To be honest with you, Zag hates the water. If she gets in, like if she gets her feet wet, I get really surprised because her whole life she's hated she's hated water money and friends is a bad idea for my experience yeah that's probably true <laughs> that's probably true but you know caveman and i are whole we're like we, we are fine we uh he's he we you know he got the truck and he was made whole for the money he loaned me took a lot longer than either of us were expecting but that whole time I was making you know good faith payments to him too so um it, it was just a tough time to sell that truck man and I had a really rough year and uh so hopefully he understands that but no caveman's an amazing guy three o'clock I've been live streaming for an hour you guys are just stuck with me for a while. Um, like I said, I really hope I get this deposit. I didn't. I didn't know this was going to be a, even a problem until today. So I guess it is what it is. If I could have talked the guy down on the van, if I could have talked him down three hundred more, I talked him down two hundred. I I I could have I could have planned for this a little bit better, but. <clears throat> But I found out today that I needed this 300 bucks, and tomorrow is the event. So, that sucks. And I know that's a big ask. That's, that's definitely a bigger ask. <laughs> but, um, I don't know what else to do, to be honest with you. Just trying to pull myself out of this hole. 
Did you try vaporizer for flour? It's easier on the health for me at 43. <coughs> yeah, I've vaped flour before, dude. I honestly, uh, I don't like the taste of vaped flour as much as I like the taste of smoked flour. And I don't know if it's much healthier. Um, I don't know if it's, like, you're still inhaling free radicals into your lungs that shouldn't be there. I think that the best way to use weed is to just eat it. But that definitely gives me a different high than smoking it, too. So, I've reserved, I've, like, just accepted the fact that, um, I'm gonna use weed in an unhealthy way. What I really should stop doing, if we all know, this is really the, the that's worse for my health. That's worse for my health than weed. And, like, obviously combustion isn't a good thing to inhale. Um, but I smoke a lot more cigarettes than, than joints. So, and I've tried to quit, dude, so many times. Like, my, I got, I got so many anxiety issues. When I'm out in public, it's just stressful because everyone's around. That's why I like being out in places like this, dude. Like this. Out in the middle of nowhere. You know, this is what I prefer. Why? Because it's much less stressful. to a pack a day yeah that's about where i'm at william says stop by i can help big time don't send money over the internet yeah that that i understand dude i wish i could make it to like have a sue i wish i could but um i'm like five hours four or five hours away from there i'm on the like the southeast side of phoenix it just i just drove two hours to get here and uh can't get that gas back either, but it'll take me two hours to drive back to the other side of Phoenix just to leave the city. Um, technically, I'm not even in Phoenix. I'm in Florence. Out in Florence. Yeah, Mark, this shit's <laughs> definitely worse for us, my friend. <coughs> You're probably right. Vaping flour is probably easier on the lungs. Probably not good for you. But just the, the feeling of the smoked flour, I think, is just so much more satisfying to me <laughs> than vaping it. It tastes better. But right now, this doesn't even taste that good because I'm just smoking, I'm just smoking fucking roaches. Just packing roaches into a bowl. I do have a vape. I do have a vape. For, uh, for distillate, I'm pretty sure that's what what's in this. But it also doesn't quite hit the same, does it? Distillate just doesn't quite do it either. Dude, my anxiety right now is sky high. It's my own goddamn fault. I wish I had known about this sooner. I was kind of banking on this event. I'm seeing some, like, birds of prey out here, which I really like birds of prey, but Zag's also a snack for them, so I gotta be really careful with her. Does your friend have a credit card she could for the deposit? No, she doesn't have a credit card. We don't we don't have that kind of life, bro. <laughs> um Yeah, she doesn't have the money for me to do the deposit, unfortunately.
<clears throat> I haven't had a credit card since I was in my 20s. Um, I haven't used my credit since I was in my early 30s. Maybe even my late 20s, to be honest with you. Um, been a while since credits affected my life in any way. Bro, Capital One, they give cards to anyone. I, I, I bet you they'd give me one. I would just need to pay a deposit um, on the credit card, which actually is what I need right now on the golf cart so I can make some money, but... Um, I'm, I'm, my credit's toast. <laughs> After my divorce, it never recovered from my divorce, to be honest with you. Um, when I, when I deployed to Iraq, I was married and she had power of attorney and you kind of need to give your spouse power of attorney when you leave. You don't have to, but it just makes life a lot easier if you do and you give it to someone you trust. Well, I thought I could trust her, but apparently that was not the case and my credit I came back with credit cards I didn't know existed, um, and it just toasted my credit, and I didn't find it all out. Like, I was dealing with coming home from Iraq, and she had cheated on me and left, and I came home to this big empty house, so I'm dealing with all those emotions, also combat, and it wasn't, like, a, a for, like, a long time before I realized that all this other stuff had happened when she had power of attorney and open cards in my name, so... At that point, I just gave up. I stopped caring about my credit and let it go into the shitter, and it's basically stayed there. Like, it's been over seven years now, so maybe it's better. I'm not sure. Um, but, yeah, I haven't used it in forever. I would imagine at this point, if I was to get a credit card, it would be a, like, I'd have to pay a deposit, you know, like a secured card. I would imagine... That'd be the only thing I'd get approved for. Sometimes it'd be like that. You know, life kicks you when you're down. Um, it, it's just a uh, sad reality of things sometimes. Like, I feel like all of us, there's 12 people watching, which usually it's more than that, but maybe it's just because I'm a roast today. Um... But I think all 12 of us, 13 including me, could attest to it that when you're down, expect to get kicked a few times because it just seems to be the case. And you're trying to pick yourself up the whole time. So that's what I'm trying to do right now is pick myself up. And I'm doing my best. I'm literally doing my best. <laughs> I don't know if that's a good thing or not. What are you guys burning on? Tell me. Let me know what y'all are smoking on today. And I'll show you what I'm using. Oh man, if I can reach it. Yeah. This is what the joints came in. But now it's just full of roaches. Which I've been breaking up and putting in my pipe. <clears throat> like I was definitely prepared for country thunder I got some food that should last me for the week that I'm there hopefully I've got um I knew I wasn't gonna have any weed for country thunder that's okay like it is what it is I have like I said this little vape here um so that would kind of sustain me. I could survive. But now I'm not even sure I'll be able to do Country Thunder because of this. I, I didn't realize that this golf, this, there was some, this deposit for the golf cart was going to be a thing. Like I've been doing a booth this entire winter. I've been working a booth. We show up at the event day early. We build the booth. We work the booth while the event's going on, and then when it closes, we we tear down the booth and load it back up. Um, but now, we're doing a completely different event, and it's my first time doing it. 
and they needed golf cart taxis to get people to and from the campground to the event. And I didn't know they were going to require, I didn't know this was going to be a thing till today that they needed a deposit for the golf cart. So I don't know if I'll be able to do this event, which if you read the description of this live stream, you'll see that I, um, uh, yeah, fuck, I forgot what I was going to say. In any case, that's the goal of my live stream today, to just get this money together. Um, if everyone sent me 20 bucks, then in a week I'd send 20 bucks back to everybody. And we could call that a deposit, because you guys paid for the deposit. I'd be happy to pay you back for it. Um, because I'm hopefully going to make enough money. That's what I was going to say in the description. You'll see that I, I'm, the money I make at Country Thunder, I'm going to put into my band to make it, you know, able to get to Oregon and to, like, just be a vehicle I don't have to worry about. <clears throat> but now I don't know if I'll be able to do that, so I might have to do all the work by hand. Let me catch up on comments. I see you guys are talking. Mark says, don't think I got my life figured out. I'm struggling. Dude, I wish I could hug you. I feel you. It, the struggle bus is real, and and like I said earlier, I know it's happening to to a lot of people right now. It's not just me. It just hits the bottom first sometimes, like the economic struggles, but everyone struggles, man, and, and we're all just doing our best. I hope you are, too. I hope you're doing your best, and if you're doing your best, then, you know, that's really all you can ask for, from yourself. Roche, what's up, man? Welcome to the live stream. Mark says he's smoking some Pineapple Express. Roche, you'll bring me some good flour. Well, I'm down here, man. Yeah, fuck yeah, I can. I appreciate you. I do. Do the empty envelope in the ATM. I did that when I was in my 20s. Dude, I think that might be a crime these days. I don't know if I'd get away with that today. <laughs> Yeah, Roche, dude, I, I could give it back after Country Thunder. Country Thunder is going to be five days, and I think, like, so tomorrow I go pick up the golf cart, and I pick out which one's mine, <clears throat> and then the event starts the next day. It lasts for five days, and then um, and then I, I wash the golf cart, and I return it, and I get my 300 bucks back deposit, so I could easily send it right back to you. I have Zelle, I have PayPal, I have Cash App, I have Venmo. I'll go down to Walmart and pick up a transfer. But this is, like, I feel like it's a, just a huge opportunity I didn't quite prepare for, so this is definitely my fault. Damn, my motorcycle and porta potty just fell over big winds. Dude, that fucking sucks. Are you, are you, uh, your motorcycle and porta potty? Are you, uh, you have a porta potty? Are you living off grid, dude? Up the hill a little ways. Um, dude, I have a half a tank of gas. I don't, I'm in Florence right now. I know that's pretty far away from, from Prescott. I don't know if anyone can like map quest that or Google map it for us, but from Florence, Arizona to Prescott, I want to say that's like four or five hours. I just drove two hours south. I was on the north side of Phoenix, um, which would have been much easier for me to do that if I was still there. I wish I could Google map it right now and figure out how far away it is. Can I get to Anthem? Fuck, I think I drove through Anthem on the way here. 
If that's what you're talking about, like the north side of like the suburbs of Phoenix, I think I could get there. It'd be basically going to, it'd be going back to where I was because I was just there. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's just, it's not that far. I was just there. It's two hours. I want to say hour and 45 minutes. But I think I could do it. I think I got the gas to get there and back. I'll send you an email, dude. I'll send you an email after this live stream. And we can fucking... I'll give you my phone number and we can coordinate. 161 miles. To Anthem? Yeah. <coughs> get on the 17. I'm not honestly familiar with the highways through Phoenix yet. I've just been following my Google Maps. Three point three hours to Prescott, so half of that is an hour and a half. That's basically where I just was. Exactly. Um, in fact, I was in like the was it, is it called New River? I feel like it might have been up. I was up by uh, Lake Pleasant, not not all the way up by Lake Pleasant, but on the way to Lake Pleasant is where I was camping at. And I just drove two hours down here to get to Country Thunder. But I'll drive back. I'll absolutely drive back for this deposit. And then after Country Thunder, I guess I could meet you up there and um, give you back the 300. We could even make a fun video about it. I don't... I, I appreciate it, Roche, because I don't want to miss out on this opportunity, and that's what it is for me. It's going to be a chance for me to get my van going proper. <coughs> I can cover 400. Yeah, I can cover another hundred. Um, that would be out. Of, it wouldn't be. So when I turn the golf cart in, they're gonna give me the three hundred back in deposit, <coughs> unless I fuck up the golf cart, which that's not gonna happen. But um, I'm a hundred percent. New River is an hour from me. Okay, then that could work. Um, I'll just drive back to where I was. <laughs> fuck, shouldn't have left this morning. Ah, what a day, dude. This has been a day. This has been a day. It's all good. Taking care of business. Maybe I could just live stream the drive. Read up. I don't know what that means. Oh, well, you mean make your own ice? You're off grid? That's fucking cool. How are you making your own ice? You want a generator or solar? Yeah, I was just thinking maybe I should just live stream the drive, but um, I might hop off of here and send Roche an email. He sent me a couple, so I remember I can send him one back and like, we can coordinate if that's if that works. I'm good with that. Oh, I just heard a gunshot. I know the sound of a gunshot.
<laughs> running out day like it cracking i mean i'm not really it's i guess i am a little bit it's 3 30. <sighs> okay all right i'm gonna take off i'm gonna send you an email roche and we can knock this shit out um i'll even send you gps coordinates to where we can meet so um take care dude uh, i'll send you an email roche and i'm gonna hit the road because it's a two hour drive back to meet up with the roche so i can get this deposit i'm so relieved that's actually a huge weight off my shoulders i'll keep you posted dude i will i might do another live stream when i get back here so we'll see um i'll see you guys later and as always miles of smiles <laughs>